Since 2010, several long-term deer surgical sterilization studies have been launched in urban and suburban communities around the U.S. Staten Island is unique in that the researchers decided to focus on the bucks instead of the does and have been conducting vasectomies on a high proportion of the buck population on Staten Island. It's the largest urban deer fertility control project ever conducted in the United States or anywhere else. I'm Nate Kochwar. I'm the project veterinarian for White Buffalo Inc. on multiple projects, including this Staten Island project. So my primary role is the, the surgical component of it, starting from capture, so I do get involved in the capture part as well. So anywhere from darting through reversal um, is, is pretty much my whole role. So we'll start with the darting part, we'll go through the capture, wound management, the surgical uh, procedure itself, um, the pain management, antibiotic management, uh, and then the reversal, wake up and continue monitoring of these animals until they're um, ambulatory and move off on their own. and then. Uh, if there are any concerns to the health of the animal later on, if anything uh, ever does pop up, then also respond to those and answer any questions that may be involved with that. So uh, from initial incision to closure, um, if I, I try to keep it at three minutes. So on a good day when everything's efficient, everything's running well, three minutes is kind of my goal. Sometimes it might take like four or five minutes if you run into some abnormalities, like um, some of the older animals may actually have some fib fibrosis, a little bit of scar tissue in there, and it might take a little more dissection to get things out. But in most of these uh, younger animals or a normal healthy animal, it, it's very quick. So that three minutes of a pretty uh, average time. It's all about speed. If we can get them, get them uh, open, taken care of, and uh, closed and woke back up, the, the faster the better. It's all about just trying to maintain the same principles that you would in a clinic setting out in the field, you know, providing them all the care that you would there out here. So it's, it's really one medicine, it's all the same. You just transfer it into a different setting. So it, there's, it's really hard to say, like, an, an average, because every animal's different. But, you know, you might have some that literally get up in, in five, 10 minutes, which isn't very often, but it might happen in five and 10 minutes. Um, you might have some that might take a, an hour to, to fully get up and to walk away. So I, I guess you could shoot the middle of that and say, you know, 30, 30 minutes is pretty normal. 45 is an uncalled for or out of the question, sometimes a little bit longer. I think that at this point there's a lot of misconceptions as to the surgical fertility control, or not, not necessarily just for surgical, but uh, all fertility control in wildlife situations. So I think presenting that data in a scientific manner, um, in an unbiased manner, is as big a component as anything. As of April 2020, the city had vasectomized 93% of the antlered males on Staten Island, and the fawn rate had decreased by 84% showing a clear relationship between the number of sterilized bucks and the decline of fawn births. The decrease in fawning rates contributed to an overall reduction in Staten Island's deer population. In 2016, when the project began, researchers counted 2,053 deer on Staten Island, and in 2020, they counted 1,555, a 24% reduction in Staten Island's deer population.